Africans don't ever be fooled when you see kings, presidents, and nobles from Western world flooding your gates, suggesting to you that they are sorry for the past wrong done to your forefathers and generations before. Without documenting such apologies or making any commitment for the payment of reparations. Such is the recent visit of King Charles III to Kenya, as well as the German head of state Frank Stemmeyer to Tanzania, and as well as some other African countries. Yes, good day, everyone. Today, you're welcome to the Central Vlog family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say thank you to everyone that's been standing by us in our live stream section, commenting, liking. Thank you so very much. I mean, Jacket to Luan Central, and I'll always have with me my funny husband. This is Dara Sato, the most handsome, capable African, and just utterly pumping a physical power husband. And as usual, I have myself beside my most romantic, pepperoni, sugarlicious, hot baby girl, Omo Otaswe. King Charles III visited Kenya from the 31st of October to 3rd of November 2023 and during the state's banquet meeting, he apologized to Kenyans seeking their forgiveness for the atrocities committed by the England forces against the Kenyans, which was called Kenyan Emergency or Mamaut Revolution between 1952 to 1960, in which lots of people, Kenyans, lost their lives. He recognized the injustice done against the Mamasi Kenyan tribes that rebelled against the British colonial rule in Kenya without doing what? Tendering a formal apology or making any commitment to pay reparations. So, I throw this open to you fellow Africans. Can you actually say that such verbal apologies without any formal documentation and commitment to pay any form of reparations as sincere apologies. I want you to actually air your view in the comment section below. Similarly, the German head of state, President Frank Stemmeyer, visited Tanzania from the 30th of October to the 1st of November in which he also apologized for the colonial era killings in Tanzania around a century ago in which around 300,000 Tanzanians were killed. He met with the descendants of Chief Sonyo Mbano, who was executed by German troops in 1906 for leading the Mamaji Rebellion. And this Mamaji Rebellion was actually the first armed struggle by Africans against the Europeans. So he came asking for forgiveness that they should forgive all that has been done to their forefathers and he promised to work with them in finding out Chief Sanyo's call which must have been taken to Germany with the scores of many other Africans. The Germans have been known with this barbaric heart of decapitating the heads of their perceived enemies right here in Africa and taking their scores over to Germany. This also happened in 1905 in Namibia when the German troops committed a genocide against the normal people and killing about 65,000 innocent children, women and aged people and they also carried away some of their skulls to Germany. Earlier in this year 2023, we also saw the King of Belgium that he went to Congo to apologize to them for all the wrongs done to their forefathers in the past without any formal documentation of such apology or making any commitment to pay reparations. So what are we actually in for? What are we in for? What we are in for is very simple. You know, Africans, that is the way we reason. Once they say sorry, our head is always rejoicing as if somebody from the Pluto, from the river of Pluto, Bosqua, has spoken to us. And we tend not to reason with ourselves because these apologies are not what are not formally presented to us in writing, in documentation. And there is no promise that they are going to do anything about it. Sorry can be meaning so many things. It can be sorry for being stupid to allow yourself to be mishandled and malhandled. You can be sorry, um, I'm so sorry about what our forefathers did, but now we're not going to do like that. We'll have another program that we want to now stealth from you psychologically and spiritually. It can be meaning a whole lot of sorry. So please, 
Like a uh, popular Abameda fella will say, Mr. Teacher, don't teach me nonsense. So don't teach me the nonsense of accepting sorry without a legal backing. The legal backing of your sorry should be that you document it, write it out, and let the whole world see that you are sorry. And also, show to us that you are liable for what you have done in the past by paying what we call reparation fee. Uh, yes, uh, thank God you, you are well on the same page today. Then you tell them because they are your clientele. You tell them these big ends controlling the whole place. You tell them that they should do so because uh, for too long they've taken we Africans to be what I don't want to term us to be. But we now, we are coming out and what that's what... Who are the we? That's just the painful thing because when uh, King Charles III mm -hmm. went to Kenya, the Kenyan president, they were there receiving them like the best of... And we knew what happened when African rulers or leaders went there the other time, the way they were treated. They put them in the mold. Right? Ah, but when they came here, now they are... <clears throat> sure, sir. But the, the thing is, we're not really coming out. And that's why some Africans like us are... So, it's okay, generation, we are trying to say yes. <laughs> See, let me tell you something. Most of the time, most of the time my okay. clientele, they've understood it, you Africans. They've seen your lapses. They know that you guys, you have nothing, nothing to think about most of the time. So far, you see. Uh, little change, little coins drop into your hands. You forget about the main thing, you know. Since they have said sorry by verbal mouth, some of you by verbal mouth. Wow. <laughs> since they've said it, it's not English, it's not my language, it's not my expression. So since they have said sorry on the microphone, but the thing some of you have forgotten the fact that documentation of sorry should go with a whole lot of responsibility. Returning all the loot, all the things that have been stolen during that period. If we really want to show that you are sorry for Africans, return the loot. Call let it be committed. Let it be a committed sorry letter, apology letter. Oh, so sorry, we did X, Y, and I'm indicating Z. that such wounds, will, there won't be a recurrence of such in any form. Again. How will it not reoccur? Do you think that my clientele, they are going to stop the business? They are coming to tell you that, sorry, we are not going to use that approach again. We are coming with a better approach. Before, we are forcing to steal from you. But now, you will willingly hand it over. Yeah, but the challenge is not just even the Af African rulers right now. What I see, it's the African youths. Uh, you saw some persons there too that will just be receiving them. What's the... It's not good to indict anything, but the fact is, let's really... When you see something, have be perspicacious. Mm. Look beyond what you're seeing. Have great insight mm. into that thing. Don't just see people coming to your borders just like the introduction and you begin to dance. Yes, so 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 is coming. I saw a white person. My wife does it. I saw. No, mm, I saw some white person. You know, it's it's just like this forum. We like to uh, talk to each other as Africans. That like, like it's not just everything that appears good. You feel it's good. Really examine the you don't understand. Who does he understand? Do you know the meaning of King Charles? King Charles. King Charles. King, King, King Charles. King Charles coming to Africa. And he did not see any other Puerto branch. It is, a it is in now Kenya. Kenya that is the significance of Kenya should be looked into because the significance of Kenya in Africa is very, very powerful. You can even trace the president of United States of America down to Kenya. You can even trace one time. You, you want to be a former president of yeah, yeah, yeah. once a president, always a president. Once stupid, was always stupid. Um, <laughs> so now, if you look at it, even when uh, what's it called? The mama, Mama Charlie, before she died, Mama Charlie was in Kenya when the news broke that her father, I'm around, uh, sorry, <laughs> that her father has died. <laughs> so from there, Obago. Understand that so, African language. So, see, let me tell you, uh, the, the main thing is that, if you like, run from here to tomorrow. The meaning of Prince Charles coming into some person's country is like, you know, they see the gods, the gods coming to visit them in their mall. And they must, people must dance, people must welcome them because you know what it is to snap with 
Some of them, they would have given their iPhone that they borrowed on, they bought on credit to like 16 people that please, as I'm going beside me, beside me, can just, just snap me, snap me. So people have it on their wall. The funniest stuff is that what has, what economic impartation has it caused into your life? But we know all this. As it changes your standard of As it changes. Do you have portable water right now? Yeah. Uh, do you have good road network? Mm -hmm. Can you say electricity is constant and the tariffs are not exorbitant? Mm -hmm. uh, I think we Africans, Africans are actually the challenge of Africans. So sorry, I live here in Nigeria, in Africa, but I see a lot, like something also happened of recent as and I don't even want to say that on here right now, but I just discovered that Africans are actually the challenge of Africa. And that's why we said in our previous video, maybe you could just watch that video, uh, re-educating Africans, like just saying it to me like, ah, we need brain surgery, but the fact is we need to tutor ourselves again if there's anything like that. We need to unlearn what we've learned before and begin to reason the right way and begin to ask the right question so i expected some persons to really ask for what is the agenda of this uh, visit why is it just beyond this what is the need for us is it just coming and saying this after the apology what's the need for us what else do you africans you must be joking somebody came to apologize you must Sorry be joking without that apology. my forefathers stole all your human capacity to build their own place they made profit from it Oh, sorry, we are not going to talk about giving you anything from the, you know, when you invest in something, uh, you, should, you are supposed to get a reparation as, a, as an interest. But, but no, we are not going to give you that. What we are going to give you is that we are going to make sure that we are not going to come and do something like that again. But what we are going to do is we create a scenario that you yourself, you carry yourself and come over willingly to submit yourself for a new form of slavery, which is called neocolonialism. I think I, don't want for I, 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 I think they are just on one same page. You see the. Uh, I think they are just on one same page. You see the head of state, the German head of state president, uh, Frank Semmeyer, also coming at almost same time uh, to Tanzania, to Ghana, to South Africa, if I'm not mistaken. Have you not read your book? And they are just, and you saw sometimes earlier this year, the king of Belgium also went to Congo. And uh, have you not read oh, your book? Oh, 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 the, the, the fear of something is the beginning of something. The fear of, you of know, losing Africa. Oh, my wife did not get it. If you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> the fear of Russia is the beginning of rushing to Africa so that you begin to mention that your colony on a way chamber. So that you begin to mention that your colony it's, is it's well protected because nowadays they discover that, oh, the rebellion is beginning to come up from Africa. They tag it as rebellion. Forget about what they are painting it as. That all oh, these military guys that are coming, these young chap that are still thinking with their brain instead of using their hands, uh, that, that they are beginning to like fight for their people now. Quickly come there and solidify relationship to keep them in you know more bondage and share strategic ideas. With <laughs> <the> <laughs> <people> <laughs> that is in charge of whatever colony. That, let me tell you, see, we know how all these things are playing out, but um, when we just decide to just talk about a little of them, we turn it to like a music that if you better know what you're doing, Africans shine your eyes and not your body. But if you shine your body and you're shaking, at the end of the day, you shake them and they will go. The programmed notebook. We still be played. They have it written down. They have it written down. They are just opening pages by pages to unleash the dragon. So it is high time we look at it. Look at uh, fire and fry pan. <laughs> I think that's on the notes that we're going to wrap up this section today. Look at fryer and fry pan. Frying pan, which do you prefer? So please yes, comment in at, the just comment. Just like looking at the frying pan like me and this my. This is my wife that is aspiring to be a, a beautiful girl. Which of us do you prefer? <laughs> see, like, pointed flat nose. See how I'm just pointed. <laughs> pointed like this. So, Africans. Okay, do you prefer mm -mm -mm, or you prefer the former colonial Dengende or you prefer new, uh, new words? 
Mm. I don't want to. You no no. You have to be careful. Okay. You have to be careful. Mm. You have to be careful. That's why you eat for food. <laughs> You have to be careful so that you can. <laughs> so that is just it. Oh, you know, if you've known us on this channel, whatever we bring to you, however <laughs> serious we need, it is, we still try to make it something out of it that can give you joy because we believe that joy is that ingredient in the world that is actually lacking and that's what is needed for your strength because the joy of the Lord is your strength. And you need a teaspoon of joy. Huh? Pahawa. To keep going in yes, this life because if not, your life will be frustrated <laughs> with all this frustrating polo boaswa. You know what is it? what is meant of that? <laughs> spell it, spell what? Polo boaswa. Polo gua. <laughs> okay, that's just it. So please, it's not that we don't know what's happening. We are watching, and that's why we're coming on board, educating each other. So just let's hear from you in the comment section. Do you think it's just going to be a smooth sail for them as usual? Do you think we're just going to be opening our eyes in front and behind and say, okay, now you can come at You can come let it. Um, and what is the significance of Kenya that almost all these people are they are there. just interested in Kenya? That is something that is happening in Kenya that we might not know. Please educate us in the in comment, comment section. section. Because okay. when uh, Ibo Man will say, once flies begin to pursue the poo <laughs> and you know that something is in the offering is there okay so check check very well you know what is there okay till we come your way the next time don't forget to lose your joy don't yes, you <laughs> you don't lose your joy <laughs> till we come your way the next time in the next video don't forget to keep your joy because your joy is your strength mm -hmm. and your strength is your life okay catch you love you remain the citrus catch you love you bye bye you and if you have a wife like this, just all that type thing. Pekka until you become Pekka Paka. <laughs> and if you don't have a wife, grab this transformer. <laughs> Two of them meet me on the way. <laughs> Bye.